Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use JSiteMap Professional on your website. So I have already uh, installed it and when you install it it will come up with this uh, notification that is all set and ready to go. So I'll, uh, I can click here to access the panel or I can simply go to Components, JSiteMap Pro. So uh, there's a lot of options in here which are really great but uh, our main one we need to focus on is the data sources. So this is what will make up the sitemap and the sitemap is a map of pages on the website that we send to Google and other search engines so they know which pages to go to. Now uh, by default it will have all your menus on the website and uh, all articles on the website appearing in the sitemap. Now with the articles uh, or the content source, uh, that takes all the articles on the website and displays it in the sitemap. Now I often have articles there that I don't want to appear, so sometimes I'll just unpublish this link and there'll be no articles appearing at all, just the menu links that we have in our menus on the website. However, sometimes we've got a website where we've got a blog section. In the blog we'll have various articles from one category appearing, so let's say we've got that on this website and we want to make sure that those articles are also shown in the sitemap. So I click on the content and I scroll down to include exclude. I choose include and I set the category that has the, the blog articles that I'm using and then I save and close. And that will then make sure that firstly the menu links will appear in the sitemap and secondly any links to blog pages will also appear in the sitemap. Instead, I wanted to find uh, the links I have on the menu and display all of them. So there are some demo menus uh, on the website, and those demo menus I don't want to appear. So the Joomla 51, for example, I will disable. If I'm not sure if a menu is a demo or not, I can go and have a look at that, that menu, see what's in that menu, if it's anything relevant. And if it's not relevant, then I will simply hide it from the sitemap. I will go back to the, the control panel. Uh, and uh, there is a, a wizard for additional data sources. So if you've installed a component on the website, for example, uh, we might have installed uh, eShop uh, as a shopping cart or event booking to look after events. Uh, we can then automatically display those events or that shopping cart and its links in the um, sitemap. So you wouldn't normally use this, but it's useful when you have installed an extra component on the website. So having uh, satisfied ourselves that we've got the information we need in the sitemap, we can then go and have a preview of it. So I'll copy the link that's down here and then open it in a new page and it then shows the links to all the pages on the website. So it pays us to have a quick look at this, see if there's anything here that doesn't fit, that is not meant to be here, or something that's missing. If you want, you can also view the, the HTML version, which might be easier to, uh, to browse through, and you can see how the, uh, the sitemap is working and displaying. So once we're happy with the sitemap, uh, we're going to do two things. So we're going to firstly add the sitemap to the robots text. Robots text tells Google and other providers where to find your sitemap. So we simply click and it will automatically do it for us. And in addition we can send a notification off to Google and other providers saying that here is our sitemap. So that's uh, how we set up the um, sitemap pro component uh, and just a brief introduction to some of its features.